Hello, it is currently past midnight and I decided that now would be a perfect time to make a video documenting my process on more complicated pieces. I skipped the sketch because it is honestly not very interesting. It's mostly me referencing a few pictures, some that I took myself, some of the person I'm drawing, which is Dark Plier, so I took a reference of Mark uh, that I found on the internet. And so... I followed a few references because it's better to have a few of them rather than one to avoid, first of all because it makes it easier and also to avoid just copying the whole image. As you can see I placed my best color and a few basic shading and I am now blending them very basically. Uh, at this point there's still two separate layers, the colors and the sketch. But soon enough, once I am satisfied with my basic shading, I will combine the two of them to start working properly on it. So right now I tried a few things, experimented before I actually got into it. And I believe now is when I combined both of my layers. So right now I'm working on only one layers with my line art, quote unquote, and my colors all together. I use a very basic brush, it's like just a basic round one, there's nothing special about it, no particular blending or anything, just a perfectly circular round brush because it makes it easier and I blend, uh, yeah. There's no texture or anything on it, it's just a basic round brush. I am working my way slowly. I am reworking a bit of the shape, adding some highlights and some shadows to bring out depth in the muscles so that it, they look very defined. Uh, I will change a few things later on, but that's the beauty of this method. If you realize at the very end that something is wrong with the anatomy, you can just move it and paint over it. In my case, at some point I resized the head completely because I realized it was a bit too big. It was probably because I used Mark as a model. Right now I'm messing around with overlays uh, just to get like a rough idea of what I would want later on and to add more atmosphere to the piece. Uh, here is where I realized that the arm was a little too long so I started fixing that. And I'm getting started on putting in small details in the hair. This is the only time where I use a special quote-unquote brush. It's the peppermint, the very basic sketching brush. It's a basic pencil to shade in the hair. I had never done that before. I had just done it on this piece, but I quite like how it looks. I go around with black and white and just adding depth and little stray hairs because he's sweaty and all of that. So his hair is probably very unkempt. It takes a lot of time and it's very redundant, but the end result really is worth it, so I would recommend really taking your time when it comes to the hair. And now I am back on the body, I am adding some more shadings, some more details. Right now I am working my way around the tie and the clothes, adding some more details and I'm messing around with the overlays and that is when I had to sue his head health and put it back on. So yeah, uh, I'm adding some more shading that I realized was messing on the arm and I am shading the clothes, this is really quick and easy. Just a few shadows and highlights and boom, here we go. Same with the tie that's around his neck. I'm putting my overlays back on. I'm adding some breath with some special brush. And I'm adding some sweat on his body and his face. Because he's sweaty, I suppose. Um, <laughs> I'm messing around with overlays again. I'm adding chromatic aberration and glitch. And here you have it. The piece is complete. Uh, I made two versions of it. And I hope you like this video and this drawing.